Good morning, Ernest Everett Just Middle School Scholars. My name is Ms. Watley, and I have been entrusted as the advisor for the National Junior Honor Society for this 2020-2021 school year. I'm here to talk to you about how to complete the application process. Before I begin, I'll tell you a little bit about National Junior Honor Society. National Junior Honor Society is a prestigious organization. It has a minimum GPA of 3.0, and it's for students who demonstrate exceptional leadership, scholarship, service, character, and citizenship. I'll begin with the application process. This first page of the application gives you a lot of information, so you should read it before you begin the process. This last paragraph on the first page, you can literally copy and paste it into an email that you send to your teacher in order for them to complete the teacher recommendation portion. So let's start with the first part of the application. I'll enlarge it, your benefit. Here you want to read each portion carefully. In section one, you're gonna write your last name, comma, your first name, and your current grade level. That is sixth, seventh, or eighth grade. Then you're going to write your mod 1A and 1B teacher. If you have the same teacher for mods 1A and 1B, you will write that teacher's name twice one in the 1A section and one in the 1B section. Transitioning to section two, which are leadership roles. So whatever roles that you were appointed or elected for within your sixth grade, seventh grade and eighth grade level is where you would write those roles. In the third column, you will write what activities or what organization and that is, um, that you participated in. Um, I here gave some examples. So student body, um, class or club, committee chairman, team captain, newspaper editor, or other um, community leader. Section three is where you're going to list your service activities. So you're going to place the activities based on what grade level that you completed it in and how many hours you participated in those activities. Please put all hours in decimal form. So if you did the activity for a total of three hours and 15 minutes, you would write three and 25 hundredths. That looks like 3.25. Sections four and five are very similar. In section four, you will list all other activities that are school-based. And in section five, you will list all other activities that are community-based, okay? Those activities that you participated in um, can include clubs, teams, musical groups, and those are just examples. There are others and feel free to place those in those sections. Where it says accomplishments, it is what was your motivation behind joining that club, team, musical group or other activity? And did you accomplish that goal? And did you accomplish goals you didn't set out to accomplish in the beginning of joining those activities? For example, if you joined the, um, American Sign Language Club, and your goal was to be able to communicate with a deaf or hard of hearing person, you would write in the activity section, American Sign Language Club. In the accomplishment section, if you accomplish it, you would write, I was able to communicate with a deaf or hard of hearing person. You may even have um, accomplished goals you didn't know that you had prior to this. I was able to sign one of my favorite songs. As I stated, section five is similar to section four, except section four is school-based and section five is community-based. 
do not repeat any activities um, within the entire application process. So if you already have it in section two, three, or four, um, there's no need to repeat it in section five. Um, this is only if the, the organizations are not separate. So for example, if you are on the basketball team at your school um, and that is your leadership role, you can place that in leadership. But if you are also on the basketball team at um, your, in your community and you want to talk about the activities that you did within your community, you can place that there because they're two separate clubs, all right? In section six, you will place any recognitions and awards, okay? Um, you can place as many recognitions and awards or um, anything specific to um, work that you have done um, in section six, seven, or eight. I'm sorry, section six, seven, and eight, um, if you have recognitions and awards within those sections. In section seven, which is the, a separate part of this application process, um, you will write a personal essay, okay? You will write an essay to explain how you demonstrate outstanding scholarship, leadership, service, character, and citizenship. We are clear that we have been in a pandemic for just over a year and that these things, that the pandemic may have limited your ability to do these things. So if you have not been able to participate in any leadership service um, activities, please list prior service and leadership activities that you um, um, participated in. So the guidelines are, you're going to type your essay, okay? I, I will not take any handwritten or paper um, um, submitted essays. It will be double space and 12 point font. So what does that look like? slide over here to your essay portion of it, which is the second option within your um, classwork section of that Google Classroom. So here, when you're writing your, your, your essay portion of your application, double spacing is here where it says line spacing. You'll see an arrow up and down right next to three horizontal bars, 12 point font here. This is your font size, okay? It says, keep your essay to approximately 102 to 250 words. This is about one and one half pages long, okay? I am not going to do a word count, but I wanted to ensure that you knew how to do that. So what you would do is select all that you have, okay? And I just highlighted everything. I clicked on tools and you see here where it says word count. Once you click on it, it tells you how many words you were able to, to um, type within that essay. As long as you keep your essay within one and one half pages, um, you should not have any issues. The next part of it is be creative, okay? You all have been writing now for almost an entire school year. And you've learned a lot from your English language arts teachers and other teachers who have asked you to write down your thinking, um, your explanations. Please be sure to use all that you have learned throughout this school year and prior school years in order to write a, a compelling essay. Proofread your essay. This is very important. Whenever you are submitting anything you should always proofread it and ensure that you have used proper grammar, punctuation, capitalization, and spelling. Ensure that your last name, comma, your first name is at the top of the screen and your grade level. Character and citizenship are two of the attributes that we are looking for um, in members um, of the National Junior Honor Society and that we are looking at within the application of um, members of the, of the National Junior Honor Society. Character is who you are when no one is looking and citizenship is your commitment to your school, neighborhood, city, state, 
nation and world. Once you have written your essay, you can delete the entire prompt. So that's everything, including the red, all the way up on the page. In section eight of the application um, is where you will read this passage to ensure that you have been honest in all of the information you have presented above. I have placed a drawing within, if you click on it and then you click on edit, you will be able to write right within that section. So you go here, click on scribble, and you would literally write your signature. Mm -hmm. Below here is where your parents will sign and fill out information. This information will help us get all of the information about National Junior Honor Society to send, disseminate it to your guardians. So you will place your guardian name here and your guardian will do the exact same thing and complete the signature. Your mailing address is where the um, place that you live. Um, and then below here will be a guardian phone number in order to reach your parents, your guardian. Here is a guardian email. And then right below it, you will choose one of these options, Mr., Miss, or Mrs. Um, if there are others like doctor, um, please feel free to write those in. Um, and then once you've placed that um, um, article there, you're gonna write the name your parents prefer to be called. So for example, my mom prefers to be called Ms. Green. And so I would put this because that's how my mom prefers. So this is just a, a note down here, which I have starred on both sides. All sections that are gray, that's this, these colors here, all sections that are grayed, um, you should fill out. Um, that includes sections that are yellow. So when you send this to your teacher, you should not keep your name here. You should physically write your name. So if I was sending this to my teacher, I would write, I, Anika Watley, am applying to be a member of the Ernest Everett Just Middle School chapter. Once you've done that, there will be a submit button and you can go right ahead and submit it like you've been doing assignments all year. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at anika.watley at pgcps.org. We've extended the deadline for the application until Friday, April 9th, to give all students um, with a 3.0 or above the chance to apply. If you do not have a 3.0 or above this school year and um, are working diligently in order to attain that um, grade point average, um, there is an opportunity for you to apply next year as well. I look forward to reading um, these essays and to reviewing the applications. All right, scholars, do your very best and please mind the deadline. Bye now.